hair discrimination is a form of racial discrimination. As a black woman, our hair is an expression of us. For wearing my natural hair, told that it was too big, it was distracting. Unprofessional, unmanageable. Ooh, my hair is my crown. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's human hair. Do you ever take it off? Yeah, take it off all the time. Can we see what your hair's like? Maybe not now, but another day so I can prepare it. <laughs> okay, well, thanks so much. Starting off in my career, there was always an issue with having adequate um, hair care for black um, black hair, black and Afro hair. I found that a lot of the hair and makeup people were not trained with black hair, so they really didn't know what to do and caused a lot of damage to my hair. It can get quite big, it's very frizzy. Quite a few people have said my hair is just messy and frizzy. In a lot of dress codes and policies, they do, they do say that, you know, your hair should be tied back, should be neat. It's kind of like a manual, so it does provide you with information based on um, Afro textured hair and it, it informs you why people wear their hair in certain ways. It would provide um, teachers, head teachers, staff of schools and workplaces as well um, with information. So for example, wearing dreadlocks or braids. Uh, we want to encourage that this is reflective of some people's traditions and they're important to black family heritage as well as the actual individual themselves. When I was in year 10 at secondary school, I was sent home multiple times for, my, for wearing my natural hair out, told that it was too big, it was distracting, that it would block children from seeing the whiteboard. And I was challenging it with a legal case that the Equality and Human Rights Commission funded. I'm really grateful that this new concept is happening. I think that it's definitely needed in schools and just around everywhere because people do need to be educated on Afro hair and then things like this will happen a lot less often. And then people also will be able to step in when it does happen to say that's not right. I think the halo code should be mandatory, if anything. It does make us uncomfortable, you know, if someone can't express themselves or have their hair in their natural state. Tomorrow I can want a long blonde wig. The day after I can have cane rows, I can have braids. And it's just an expression of myself and how I feel. Uh, so I love my hair. 